Hi everyone. In my last video, we had talked about how a window AC works and how a split unit works. The most important point was that air conditioning is just transfer of heat and nothing else. I have received a lot of questions on my mail and I promised I will choose the most relevant one and discuss that. The best relevant question was asked by Mr. Brabov. And here is the question. What can be the maximum distance between an outdoor unit and an indoor unit? That is a great question, which becomes a challenge for us for many small projects like houses, where clients can't afford VRV systems, but they still don't want to see outdoor units in front of their house, like builders plan. You can see in the picture how these look very ugly. So it was very, very important to understand this distance possible. Though the copper pipe joining the indoor unit to the outdoor unit is insulated, the larger the distance, the more the pressure drop and losses. This distance depends on two things. One, the AC brand and quality of piping and insulation. And the second, whether the pipe is going in the horizontal direction or traveling in the vertical direction. Let us take the case of a normal brand. Let's say 1.5 tons to 2 tons. The distance can be 30 feet to 40 feet between the outdoor and the indoor unit. But Daikin claims that the horizontal distance can go up to 60 feet and for their air conditioners and the vertical distance can go up to 50 feet. So if you have a residential plot whose construction depth is around 70 feet, like I've shown here, it becomes difficult to take the outdoor unit to the rear courtyard. So the building elevation is not disturbed. Hence, if you don't have the money to use a VRV system where the piping length can be almost 200 feet. You really have to plan your outdoor units in order to height some of them in the front elevation. So in our house, we have kept all the outdoor units on the canopy. You can see that here. And we plan to hide them with lowers. And that is exactly where a VRV system or a VRF system comes into picture. So today in this video, I shall explain how a VRV system works and why it is becoming more and more popular for high end projects of small to medium size. Let us take an example of a flat in a posh area of Delhi. Let's say Greater Kailash where I stay. A three bedroom flat will require around 1.5 ton unit for each bedroom and maybe three tons for the drawing room and another 1.5 ton for the kitchen too. So costing of split units would work out to somewhere around, which is shown there, six units into 40,000 each, which is 2.4 lakhs. Now, a VRV system needs just one outdoor unit to take care of all the indoor units. It's like a multi-split where there are number of indoor units, but served by one outdoor unit. We will discuss this later. Since now I am discussing only costing. This VRV system would roughly cost around 60,000 to 70,000 per ton. So six units of 1.5 ton would cost nine ton into 60,000, which is 5.4 lakhs instead of 2.4 lakhs. So you have to shell out 3 lakhs more. Now, if the flat is being sold by a builder for 5 crores, he can very well afford to spend rupees 3 lakhs extra per flat. So that there is only one outdoor unit to be hidden at the rear and the front elevation is left undisturbed. 
even in high end residential societies where flats are being sold for 2.5 to 3 crores builders have started providing vrv systems one outdoor space is given for each flat and that too is within the flat and this unit is hidden behind the lowers so you can't see it from outside now let's understand how this vrv system works and what are the pros and cons in this system simply seen it's a multi split unit but if you look at the diagram on the left a lot of serious planning is required as to how the piping is done there are multitude of possibilities as shown in the figure hubs have to be created and branches have to be planned with controlled refrigerant flow since this system was initially invented by daikin and they called it vrv which means variable refrigerant volume so vrv is their trademark now other companies had to go for a different name vrf variable refrigerant flow these are actually of three types first one is only cooling second one is heat pump systems where cooling and heating both are possible but at one time only cooling or only heating is possible and lastly is the heat recovery system in this type both cooling and heating is possible simultaneously for different areas let's say the whole hospital needs heating but the mortuary needs cooling so one system can do both things simultaneously and this recovery system means that there are hubs where heat from one area to be cooled is being transferred to the other area which is to be heated so the efficiency increases obviously all indoor units can have individual temperature controls like in a split unit and of course large lengths of piping up to 200 feet long are possible so large zones can be taken care of by one outdoor setup the biggest advantage is that if you have a need of 30 tons of indoor cooling requirement and all rooms are not going to be ever used simultaneously then you can use a lesser tonnage of outdoor unit up to 20% less so maybe a 25 tons outdoor unit the second big advantage is that the indoor units can be of different capacities for different areas from maybe 1 ton or to 4 ton and lastly there is a lot of power saving in the whole system so running cost is very low the biggest disadvantage is that the initial cost is very high secondly very skilled technicians are required for the maintenance and lastly if the outdoor unit malfunctions all areas will be affected if we have only one outdoor unit but in case the outdoor units are in multiples of let's say 5 tons each so a 20 ton requirement may have four numbers of 5 ton each units linked together at a maybe a terrace and if one of the four units malfunctions you still have 15 tons of working units left for your air conditioning in a four story house owned by one person we normally have one lift so if that malfunctions we get it repaired we don't keep a standby lift so there are pros and cons of all systems now let's move on to the next category of air conditioning the ductible split units the ductible split ac 
is very similar in configuration to the split AC. There is one outdoor unit and there is one indoor unit. The difference is in the indoor unit. In the indoor unit, you can see there is a large blower fan which can force air out at high pressure into the duct which is made of GI sheets, galvanized iron sheets. The unit has a bigger size to accommodate a large filter, a large cooling coil and a lot of space between for suction of air. The volume of air sucked in from the rear is very large because of the high tonnage of these units. Tonnage is high because it has to cool larger areas. Since the indoor unit is a large box, so multiple levels of filtration are possible and fresh air can be added to these units. One big advantage is that even the indoor unit is very far away from the areas it is cooling because of the duct. So it is even more silent than a normal split unit. In ductable split units, the tonnage can go up to 22.5 tons for one unit. So we can easily air condition areas up to 3000 to 3500 square feet with one unit. But sometimes we have to use more ductable splits because of certain height restrictions like it is shown in the plan here. In case we have to cool even larger areas, we can create a plenum in front of the units and connect two or three 22.5 ton units which will throw the air into the plenum. Then from this plenum, the duct will take the air to various zones and hence can air condition even up to 10,000 square feet of area. We have completed the study on this VRV systems and the ductable split units. Now you will ask me, where is the fun in this learning process? This is like a normal lecture. So I must share with you, all of you, how interns in our office have fun. Just look at the video where interns are also doing a ram walk and singing songs too. This is our new batch of interns. Let me introduce them to you. On the left of me is Manvi and on the right of me is Ayushi. The ones sitting in front are Sanchi and Priyanshi. They are doing research in automation, lighting, etc. And soon we shall share their research with you. So now in air conditioning, we are left with a chilled water system. I do not want to bore you with a long video. Hence, in our next video, we shall be finally ending the study about air conditioning with the chilled water system. Till then, take care. Bye.